Believe in yourself. Have faith in your abilities. Without a humble but reasonable confidence in your own powers, you cannot be successful or happy. But with sound self-confidence, you can succeed. A sense of inferiority and inadequacy interferes with the attainment of your hopes. But self-confidence leads to self-realization and successful achievement. It is appalling to realize the number of pathetic people who are hampered and made miserable by the malady called the inferiority complex. But you need not suffer from this trouble. When proper steps are taken, it can be overcome. You can develop creative faith in yourself, faith that is justified. After speaking to a convention of businessmen in a city auditorium, I was on the stage greeting people when a man approached me and with a peculiar intensity of manner asked, May I talk with you about a matter of desperate importance to me? I asked him to remain until the others had gone. Then we went backstage and sat down. I'm in this town to handle the most important business deal of my life, he explained. If I succeed, it means everything to me. If I fail, I'm done for. I suggested that he relax a little, that nothing was quite that final. If he succeeded, that was fine. If he didn't, well, tomorrow was another day. I have a terrible disbelief in myself, he said dejectedly. I have no confidence. I just don't believe I can put it over. I'm very discouraged and depressed. Here I am, 40 years old. Why is it that all my life I've been tormented by inferiority feelings, by lack of confidence, by self-doubt? You talk about the power of positive thinking. How can I get some faith in myself? There are two steps to take, I replied. First, it is important to discover why you have these feelings of no power. That requires analysis and will take time. We must approach the maladies of our emotional life as a physician probes to find something wrong physically. This cannot be done immediately, certainly not in our brief interview tonight, and it may require treatment to reach a permanent solution. But to pull you through this immediate crisis, I can give you a formula which will work if you will use it. As you walk down the street tonight, I suggest that you repeat certain words which I shall give you. Say them over several times after you get into bed. When you awaken tomorrow, repeat them three times before arising. On the way to your important appointment, say them three additional times. Do this with an attitude of faith and you will receive sufficient strength to deal with this problem. Following is the affirmation which I gave him. I can do all things through Christ which strengtheneth me. I watched him square his shoulders and walk out into the night. He seemed a pathetic figure and yet the way he carried himself as he disappeared showed that creative faith was already at work in his mind. Subsequently, he reported that this simple formula did wonders for him. And he added, It seems incredible that a few words from the Bible, a positive point of view, could do so much for a person. There are various causes of inferiority feelings, and not a few stem from childhood. For example, an executive consulted me about a young man whom he wished to advance in his company. But, he explained, he cannot be trusted with important secret information. And I'm sorry, for otherwise I would make him my administrative assistant. He has all the other necessary qualifications, but he talks too much, and without meaning to do so, divulges matters of a private and important nature. Upon analysis, I found that this young man talked too much simply because of an inferiority feeling. To compensate for that, he succumbed to the temptation of parading his knowledge. He associated with men who were rather well-to-do, all of whom had attended college and belonged to a fraternity. But this boy was reared in poverty. He'd not been a college man or a fraternity member. Thus, he felt himself inferior to his associates in education and in social background. To build himself up with his associates, and to enhance his self-esteem, 
His subconscious mind, which always seeks to provide a compensatory mechanism, supplied him with a means for raising his ego. He was on the inside in the industry and accompanied his superior to conferences where he met outstanding men and listened to important private conversations. He reported just enough of his inside information to cause his associates to regard him with admiration and envy. This served to elevate his self-esteem and satisfy his desire for recognition. When his employer became aware of the cause of this personality trait, being a kindly and understanding man, he pointed out to the young man how his inferiority feelings caused his unreliability in confidential matters. This self-knowledge, together with a sincere practicing of the techniques of faith, made him a valuable asset to his company. His real powers were released. The great secret for eliminating the inferiority complex is to fill your mind to overflowing with faith. Develop a tremendous faith in God, and that will give you a humble yet soundly realistic faith in yourself. A wise old man told me once, the best way to get over an inferiority complex is simply to pray big prayers and so to have big faith. Doubtless he was right. For the scriptures say, according to your faith, be it unto you. Big faith in God will give you real faith in yourself.